Hello everyone, and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls 2 PvP and another weapon showcase. This time I am using the Fume Ultra Greatsword, which you can get in the second DLC after killing the Fume Knight. Now, this is a weapon that a lot of people either love it or they hate it. I personally really like this thing, wouldn't say that I love it, but it's definitely one of the more enjoyable Ultra Greatswords for me to use, so there's that. Now, getting started with the weapon, this weapon requires 40 strength and 30 dexterity in order to wield, so it is definitely a quality weapon due to those requirements. It has an S scaling in strength and a D in dexterity. The physical base damage of the weapon is 430, and for me, the attack rating is 672 with a ring of blades. The counter strength of this weapon is 110, poise damage is 60 per hit, and weight is 28 units. Making it a very, very, very heavy ultra greatsword. The heaviest ultra greatsword, in fact. Now, this weapon, I would have to say the biggest pro of it would be the damage output. The damage output on this thing is huge. It hits very high and is very, very reliable as well. In addition to that, the damage on your critical attacks is kind of insane. I am on New Game Plus, so I've been on New Game for a while, and going back to New Game Plus, I realize how ridiculous criticals are. I'm nearly one-shotting pretty much everyone who manages to survive, and one-shotting everyone else that I get a critical on, so it's kind of ridiculous how good this thing is. Um, pros of the weapon, though, other than that, I would have to say that the two-handed L2 attack, as well as the one-handed R2 attack, are both very, very good things about this weapon. Reason being, they actually block as you attack. So what that essentially does for you is make it so that you can go for that two-handed L2 as your person, as your opponent, is coming into R1 spam at you. Their attack will most likely deflect off of your sword, which of course is a good thing. And then on top of that, you'll swing that sword around and smack them in the head, and that'll send them flying onto their back. How can you not like that? I mean, let's be honest, how can you not find that very useful? In all honesty, it's not incredibly useful unless you're playing defensively and your opponent is playing offensively, but the way most straight sword users play, that's exactly what you're going to get, so that's something to keep in mind. Other pros, I honestly, uh, I don't have any. This weapon is just really straightforward and is good at what it does. You're also, actually I did think of one, you are able to aim it with the left thumbstick, and it's one of the more responsive weapons to that in the game, so that's a double-edged sword in a way. You can aim and hit people more easily, but you can also overshoot or undershoot because you're not aiming well enough, so just gotta keep that in mind and you'll be fine. Now the cons of the weapon, biggest con, I would say it's easy to dodge, it is a slow weapon, it's an ultra greatsword though, so you gotta expect that. Other cons, slow, again, that's because it's, you know, it's an ultra greatsword. It's slow, it's easy to dodge, and it just has a relatively predictable moveset, so it's just something you've got to expect. It comes with the territory, but other than that, the next huge con of the weapon, the weight. 28 units for an ultra greatsword. That's a ton. Definitely not something you'll be able to carry around easily and still fast roll. So, that was the last fight in the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one, found it helpful, and I will see you all next time.